Many therapeutics contain fluorine. And the reason for this is that fluorine has unique features that often enhance the activity and increase the metabolic stability of fluorinated compounds. One such example is the anti-inflammatory drug dexamethasone that has a more than 50-fold higher activity compared to the non-fluorinated compound. And in fact, 20% of all drugs on the market contain fluorine. Now, the unique features that make fluorinated compounds so attractive as drugs also render their synthesis very, very difficult. In particular, if only one of the two possible mirror images of a given compound is of interest. Now, since in nature, fluorinated compounds are rare, the method of choice for making them is organic synthesis. Together with my postdoc Jakob Sadi, we developed a new building block that allows for the selective incorporation of fluorine into complex organic molecules under very mild reaction conditions. These so-called fluorinated malonic acid half thioesters are equivalents of fluoroacetate enolates. They're bench stable and easily accessible from commercially available inexpensive starting materials via an operationally simple four-step synthesis. Carbon dioxide is embedded in their structure as an activating group and a volatile and thereby easily removable leaving group. Now we've showcased the value of our methodology in enhanced selective addition reactions and the synthesis of a fluorinated version of a top-selling cholesterol-lowering drug. Our invention enables the synthesis of numerous different types of fluorinated compounds. Among them are promising drug candidates, not only with cholesterol-lowering activity, but also against diseases such as cancer, bacterial and fungal infections. We hope that potent therapeutics will be established with our method over the next decade.